Hey, what's going on everybody? Before I even get into this video, I do want to say I dropped a clothing line. Now it's not like channel merchandise or anything. It doesn't say like subscribe to Snowball Pack or anything. It doesn't say anything like that. It's just like cool designs that I've like sketched up and I put them on t-shirts. If you guys want to go ahead and get some, there's a link below. If you guys want to help support this channel, you should definitely go get some. They're super cool. I've ordered like four shirts already and there's definitely more designs coming. These are just like the first sketch up ideas. So go to teespring.com slash stores slash Snowball Packa or you can just click on the link below but will do you just fine. Now personally, I think I have the answer for the best priced iPhone. Now this is not the best iPhone of all time, you know, that'd probably be like the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8 or whatever, but this is an iPhone where you probably would get the most for your money. And that iPhone is definitely the iPhone 6S. This is a phone that I could easily use throughout the day. You know, it has everything I need for it. It has a beautiful 12 megapixel camera. I can shoot in 4K. And the overall speed and fluidity is just amazing. Now, this is not a full review, of, in, especially in 2018. I've already made one of those. But it's just so interesting how good of a phone this is still. And compared to the iPhone 6, the 6S is so much better. And a lot of people think, oh, they're like the same phone because they're the same body and the same back casing and everything. Guys, trust me. They're two completely different phones. This phone definitely has more in common with the iPhone 7 than it does with the iPhone 6 and even comparing to my iPhone 7 Plus, the 6s doesn't seem too far off. Now the 7 Plus is faster, there's no doubt about it, but if I wasn't comparing them side by side, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference honestly. Really the only downfall of this phone would definitely be the battery life. It kind of sucks. Apple does replace it though for $30 and you can always get that Apple battery case which you can find on flawlessphone.com for the cheapest price. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be able to make it through a day but I also can barely make it through a day with my 7 Plus so it's completely understandable. This phone I would say has pretty much all the basic functions of a phone that you would need in 2018 and the upcoming years it has 3D touch for such whatever you want to call it. It retains the headphone jack, okay? Now that's kind of old news but it's still worth mentioning because some people do kind of, you know, base their next phone on whether it does have a headphone jack or not. It has two gigabytes of RAM, okay? Now, this might seem like a small thing, but the difference between one gigabyte and two gigabytes of RAM, especially on an iPhone, is just astronomical. Even on my iPad Air 2, which has two gigs, and my iPad Air, the first gen, which had one gig, the difference is like crazy. And the best thing about this phone is that it still has iOS support for a few more years. Now, iOS 11, the train wreck that it is right now, that's the best news ever because we know it's not going to be stuck on iOS 11. So it's going to get iOS 12 and probably iOS 13 as well. Like I said, this phone definitely isn't perfect, you know, no phone is, but I definitely feel like this phone right now is the most, I would say, budget-friendly iPhone there is. I would not go anything below an iPhone 6S if you want to keep a phone longer for like a year or two. Now, the iPhone 6 definitely isn't a horrible phone, but if you're going to spend the money now, I would highly recommend you to at least get a 6S. And here's the crazy thing, if you look on Apple's website, they're charging $449 for this phone, which is ridiculous and iridus for them to do that, right? You can get this phone in the links below from Amazon for almost half of that. These are certified refurbished, but honestly, at this point, I'd rather get a phone for half the price than spend more just to get the same thing, you know what I mean? Either way, this is a great deal, and this phone can easily last you probably another two years, Maybe more if, you know, depending on how good iOS 13 is. But that's pretty much it, guys. I want to hear your opinion. Do you think this phone is the best iPhone for the money, the best used iPhone for the money, or whatever you want to call it? Or do you think another phone is better? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. But hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 40,000 subscribers by the end of May, and then 50,000 subscribers by the end of July or august something like that. i don't really remember the goals anymore but hit that subscribe button so we can get that goal even faster definitely check out my clothing line over at teespring links in the description check out flawlessphone.com for the cheapest prices for accessories phones all that stuff but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then